hi guys <laughs> welcome to my channel my name is creatrix and today's super exciting um because we're putting some pants together in this tutorial i will not be teaching you how to make a granny square because i already have a video making a granny square on my channel which maybe i might redo one day and don't feel unheard because i've read the comments on the skull pants video and i know quite a few of you have done a great job and quite a few of you have gotten confused with my instructions and my not amazing editing skills quite yet um, and my not so good camera angles quite yet, so I might do another video re-explaining that, but I might not. I don't know yet. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Because quite a few of you have been able to understand it too, and I'm really sorry if you haven't. I'm not super amazing at this yet, but I'm trying. <laughs> I just want to acknowledge all of the support I've gotten from that video and from you guys in general and I'm so excited to keep this going and keep giving you guys ideas and fun things to crochet and I love crocheting with you guys and yeah. So we're going to make a pair of pants today and put them together and these pants are evil eye pants which is super cool and fun and fresh and they're unisex and these are on my website at creatrix.com link in description box um i'll also have a bunch of links to sustainable yarns and um right now my business is helping ukraine right now and um it was helping trees but now i just have the link in my bio if you want to donate to help climate change but ukraine really needs our help right now ukraine really needs our help right now and they've been needing our help so i just want to help support them while i do what i love <laughs> and i love you guys um so let's get started on this pants putting together tutorial <gasps> So obviously we're starting with making all of our granny squares and I did 56 total for these pants. I would say that they're like a medium to large. After I've made my 56 granny squares, I went ahead and single crocheted them in a row of 7 and then I did another row of 7 and then single crocheted that together and then you're going to do 4 rows of these total just like that and this is for one leg and you're going to make 2 of those. So 2 rows or er, two of four rows of seven for your entire pants. Personally, this is just what I do to measure and make sure that it's going to fit, but I went ahead and counted five squares. I wanted it to be like a little under my crotch area, um, and this will fit most people too that way, so I counted five, and then I single crocheted inside out obviously when you put it together you're gonna single crochet inside out and then I single crochet all the way up until five after you have finished crocheting your five squares on both pant legs you'll just put them together like I am right here and you just need these two make sure you don't like crochet the back of the bands to the front or something so you'll crochet the two sides single crochet the two sides together and then I made this band 
using a single crochet like back loop method if you need a video on that there's probably some out there or i can make them i'm also so sorry about how this video is laid out right now yeah, that's my cat's in um <laughs> but yeah so with this band you'll have to like crochet you'll have to like skip some crochets and like get it all in there but trust this is my boyfriend he tried them on it looks so swag how did you like the video oh no please no um yeah i want to hear about it in the comments down below was this video better for you to understand was it easier for you to watch let me know i love hearing what you guys have to say constructive criticism is always welcome and i do listen and you guys are so great i would love to be tagged in your instagram snapchat whatever and I want to see it because I post you guys and you guys are awesome and so cool. And I love seeing that you guys are watching my videos and making the stuff too. I love you. <laughs> okay, um, I'm going to this party. Wish me luck. And I hope you have a great, fabulous day. And I'm sending you lots of love.